and welcome to PC Dictation support page. This is for some of our customers out there who recently uh, have purchased the standard um, dictate and standard transcribe model and, and typically they may have bought the 6700 uh, application which comes with the DPM 6000 and the standard typing kit. So you, in that case we did install both applications because they've only got one PC on, at that site so they do need both applications installed and the reason being that the dictate module this one here can only download and the transcribe module can only type so if we just do a, a quick test at the moment if it's the first thing in the morning make sure you do start both programs so double click on them both make sure they're they're both running you can minimize them like I have right now so if I just do a quick recording I plug the recorder into the um, USB cable the Pro Dictate module will come up automatically because it detects that I've got that DPM, or I've got an 8000 plugged in, tells me it's all been downloaded and we're up to job uh, Joe 1616. I can then just go click X, it won't close the application, it'll just minimise it or if you wish just, just minimise it for now, open up the transcription module and it just takes a couple of seconds to start up and I guess I should have had this sort of running but most people are used to the way the Philips program does sort of take a few seconds to um, load up initialize and what have you that's all actually happening on another screen which uh, you can't see but in any second now we should get the, um, the, tra the transcribe I'm running 8.7 so anyone running a slightly older version uh, I do recommend if you um, are running seven version seven or version eight, uh, keep up to date with um, the upgrades. You, if you are running seven, you can upgrade to a version eight for free. Okay, so now we we can see uh, job number sixteen. If you've got any doubts, you can always refresh. And so we've got that that's sitting in the pending dictations folder. And if you are the dictator, it goes to the finished dictation folder can rename to be the same but look just be aware that there as a dictation module it's the finished dictation and I'll just minimize that as the transcription module it's the pending dictation they're pointing to the same location and to be sure of that you know if you've seen us talk about this before do a right click over the pending down to folder properties and it tells you exactly where that folder path is pointed to and at that point as the typist just double click on the file uh, I'll just drag this file over you've got you this is the large screen you can minimize that down if you wish I'll just make it large it's a bit easier to see you got your volume you got your so your volume and your speed once you're finished once it's sort of you know you'll you'll play it along and then at the very end once it gets to the very end there click the finish button it goes into the finish dictation folder okay that's where they'll they'll sit uh, you do need to manually delete those files you know after a a few days or a month or something something like that um, but that's that's how you use the program in a nutshell so I'll just quickly uh, go through that keep in mind if you're downloading you must be downloading via the dictate module I'll just minimize that and as a transcriber or a typist you must be using the transcription module up here to select the files and to transcribe now I hope that um, makes sense to Everyone out there, obviously, if you're um, having any questions or doubts, please let us know at PC Dictation. Thank you for watching.